Stefanos Fostieris, the winner of uh, our uh, local tournament uh, this Saturday. Congratulations, Stefanos. Uh, what was uh, your score today? Thank you. My score was 3 0. I faced uh, Super Quantums, Paleozoics, and Spirals. And yeah, it was a really great experience. I'd like to give a shout out to my team, ATCG for providing us with a prize for the tournament. So yeah, I played Trickstars. I think it's a really good deck for this format. I really like the playstyle. So here's the deck. Three Candina, of course, the stars of the deck. Three Lycoris. She recycles Candina and helps you push for game with her effect. One Lilybell. I really like this card, but not more than a one-off, because it's kind of dead if you draw it. You never want to draw it, you want to search it, so you can special summon it and keep attacking directly. I play the Link deck with Gofu. Um, I was testing Wind Witches. They were fine, but sometimes Crystal Wing was just not enough for me, and Glass Bell and Snowbell were dead draws, so I decided to make them more consistent playing this. But I wouldn't want to play three Gofu because you, only, you can only summon one. Two Honest, again, not three, you can break, but just two, I think it's a perfect number because you can out some really good stuff. And for the Hand Traps, I play three Drone Lockbird for the Trickstar Incarnation combo, and against Spiral, it's very powerful. And for the generics, two Ask Blossom, two Ghost Ogre, and a one Maxi. That's it for the monsters. For spells, three Light Stays, of course. I think this is the best card in the deck because you can control the opponent's back row, increase damage, go for game, and search anything, and it's not a once per turn. Three Terraforming, as long as we have it, we can use it. So search the best field spells. Two Desires. Uh, another uh, issue I had with the Wind Witches is I could not run this because I would most likely banish the one Snowball, and then the combo would not be as powerful. So with this deck, I'm really happy I can uh, use this. And to scapegoat, to push for links again, not three because you can only use it once per turn. So yeah. And to instant fusion, um, I feel like this card gives me a lot of options in the deck, and I'll explain when I go to the extra deck. And for the traps, three tricks are incarnation, of course. This card uh, fucks your opponent's hand. You can burn them, and it gives you recurrence from a grave. So on brigade. And for some one-offs play one ring of destruction and one blazing mirror force. Uh, these burn for more damage, they can disrupt your opponent's plays. I was playing two originally, but I felt like your opponent can prepare for it before the battle phase, so I decided to play one on one. It can cut some people off guard. For the extra deck. For the links. On Holy Angel. Uh, I wouldn't want to play more than one, he rarely will summon more than one. On Link Spider, Proxy Dragon and two Miss Radiant. These are most likely, this go for the golf, but this is for the scapegoat, that's my play too, because you can use it twice. One Deco Talker, one Guy Saber. I like this guy because he is a big beater and he doesn't point upwards, so your opponent doesn't get an extra monster zone. And one Topologic. Um, I was playing Firewall originally, but I felt like it was, you needed a very specific hand to be able to make a combo with Firewall, so I just felt like this is a generic good monster and so on. For the fusions, play one Fusionist and one Theseus. Um, this can make Acid Golem and Breaksword, which I run. Uh, Acid Golem is out of the Crystal Wing. Indestructible Crystal Wing is really difficult to out of this deck. And this can give you level 8 synchro plays with Lycoris. And I play Scarlet and Omega. This can out your opponent's boards, and this can create a really powerful loop with Reincarnation when you keep putting it back in the grave so you can get more summons. And the Xyz is one Breaksword and one Acid Golem. And for the side. To get myself for the decks that run Wind Witches and True Dracos. The third Ghost Ogre, I feel like it's the best hand drop for me right now because the Spiral is running around with Resort and stuff, and I think it's necessary to have it, but I wouldn't want to play it in the main deck. Dragon Dark Hole, three Spell Shattering Arrow, I think it's very powerful against Spirals and Trick Stars because if you can get rid of the field spells and the equips, it's very good, and one time I burned my opponent for a thousand damage with this. Two Fragrance, um, very generic card against anything, and since my locals were on a lot of Polyzoics, I decided to play two Decree, just to be able to counter them. Same with Full House. Um, I've never really resolved this, and I don't know if it's really good. In theory, it can work, because now face-up spells and traps are not just continuous, so you can use uh, your field spell, and maybe desires to activate to pop through back row. Yeah. It's a kind of situation, but I like it. And Soul Drain, because of Paleo and Burning Abyss. 
So yeah. Okay, Stefanos, uh, what was your experience today? It was a really great tournament. Uh, very good variety in decks. I think this is one of the best locals I've ever attended. Congratulations again. Uh, hope to see you next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.